This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 1. My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. Call Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kodash. That's to say, all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High, whose true name is a Hebrew name, which is Yahweh, and his son, his only begotten son, his name, which is also a Hebrew name, which is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, meaning he is or he to be. Yahweh Shai, meaning he's Savior, and he delivers. He comes to save and deliver the nation of Israel which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native, and Seminole Indians on your father's blood side. Because according to the Bible, the book of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18, you are who you are through your father's loins because the man carries the seed. And we also have the X and the Y chromosome. But before I get into this lesson, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kodash, that were honest to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to the hopeful elect, the Akim that's out here <clears throat> preaching this truth <clears throat> and our truth and our sincerity around the four corners of the earth. Uh, this is your brother, Rayap Rakoff from the Cleveland branch, Come, coming back at you with another hit through the power and spirit of the Most High. And uh, let's get right into the scriptures, man. This is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1. My son. Forget not my law, but let thy heart, and the Hebrew word for heart is lab, which means your mind, keep my commandments. Why is that? For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. So let's break this down. It say, don't forget the law, but let your mind keep the commandments. Question, why? Answer, for a length of days and long life and peace, so they add to thee. So when you keep the commandments, man, you live. That's why when you go to Deuteronomy, I think it's the 30th chapter, it say, I set before you life and death, a gift and a curse. If you do this, you live. If you do this, you die. So let's see what Baruch said about the same thing. Uh, Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. It says, this is the book of the commandments of the Most High Yahweh and the law that endure forever. So that right there is letting you know the law endure forever. It's never done away with. When you go to Romans 7 and 1, let me just jump there real quick and I'm going to jump back. I think it's Romans 7 and 1. Um, Kind. This is Romans chapter 7, verse 1. Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to thee that know the law, how that the law hath dominion, dominion is rulership, over a man as long as he liveth. So we not judge by the law, but you still have to keep the law. You can't just be out here a lawless person and just do what you want to do. The Most High is not the author of confusion. But back in Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High Yahweh and the law that endure forever. All that keep it, keep what? Keep the law, shall come to life. But such as leave it shall die. So if you keep the law, you come to life. But if you don't, you die. And let's see why. This Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. Hold on, what? For the wages of sin is death. So why do we die? For the wages of sin is death. So we die because we sin. But the gift of the Most High is eternal life through his son, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, our Lord. So the wages of sin is death. But wait. What if you've been going to Christian church all your life and you don't even know what sin is? This is 1 John chapter 3, verse 4. 
whosoever committeth sin transgresses also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So whoever break the law is in sin. Because that's what sin is. Transgression of the law. Meaning when you break the law. And when you break the law and you're in sin, how do you get out of sin? Or how do you try to get out of sin? Acts 3 verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. You have to repent. Repent. Going back to being humble, man. Turn away from your sins. It say and be converted. That your sins may be blotted out. Because that's what we want. We want our sins to be covered by the blood of our Lord and Savior. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Flat out. Simple as that. And it say, repent ye therefore and be converted. Let's see what converts you. I think that's Psalms 19 and 7. It says, the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. So hold on. What was that? Acts okay. 3 I found this on the web. 19. It says, repent ye therefore and be converted. Let's go back to Psalms and see what converts you. Psalms 19 and 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. What do it do? Converting the soul. So you, when you repent and you start keeping the commandments, you are being converted. The testimony of our Lord is sure, making wise the simple. So it's turning a simple person into a wise person, man. You putting off that old man and you coming into that New man, let's see. What in the first Corinthians four? Let's see. Second Corinthians, maybe. Salakia. Second Corinthians four. No, mm -mm. no, nope, nope, nope. gotta be Ephesians. Bear with me. I'm gonna get this and close out. Uh -uh, just, uh -huh. Okay, yeah. Here we go. God. This is Ephesians 4 and 22. That she put off concerning the former conversation. The old man. Because you repented. You was dirty. But now what you do. Which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. Because you was going after your own lust. Trying to get your own righteousness. Doing what you want to do. But what happened? And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And that you put on that new man. Which is after God is created in righteousness and true holiness, man. Putting on that new man. Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another, man. Simple as that, man. So, sin got us in the predicament that we in under the curses, dying and death, repenting. Gets you everlasting life, man. When you put off that old man and pick up the new ways that is after God and righteousness. So with that, man, I hope that was edifying to a person or two through the spirit and it touched the ears of who needed to hear it. Shalom.